If America and the West come under attack, we stand united with them. We are ready to support in every possible way. Recently, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un conveyed this message to Putin in an intriguing manner. He emphasized that no conditions are necessary for their support. Kim Jong-un's statement also addressed the fairness of Russia's attack on Ukraine, expressing confidence in Russia's victory in the ongoing war. The North Korean leader expressed his desire to discuss this matter with Putin. Interestingly, Kim Jong-un highlighted the formidable strength of the North Korean army, claiming it to be the most powerful in the world. However, reports indicate that Russian counterattacks have successfully destroyed a significant number of left-behind tanks that posed a threat to Russia. Furthermore, Russia has captured a substantial number of enemy tanks. Despite providing weapons, it is clear that Ukraine faces an uphill battle. The dreams of Ukrainian President Zelensky are now in jeopardy. In response, Zelensky has requested new tanks from Germany to replace the ones that were destroyed. Meanwhile, a prominent American figure, Elon Musk, has voiced his opinion on these tanks. He believes that if Ukraine is to receive tanks, a large number should be provided, increasing their chances of winning the war. However, Elon Musk also advises against mentioning Crimea. A former NATO leader has warned that there is a risk of NATO troops entering Ukraine, regardless of its membership status. If such a scenario unfolds, it could lead to a direct confrontation between NATO and Russian forces in the near future. While major victories may be elusive, the Ukrainian army has achieved significant successes thus far, engaging in intense clashes on multiple fronts. Russia has issued a warning to NATO, asserting that providing nuclear weapons to Ukraine would have far-reaching consequences for humanity's future. Should such a situation arise, it could potentially trigger a world war. The Russian people are prepared to defend their country, even if it means clashing with the rest of the world. The response from NATO regarding this warning remains uncertain, given the implications involved. The outcome of this war holds tremendous significance, as Ukraine's defeat would deal a significant blow to America's position as a global power. President Joe Biden, however, assures that America will continue to support Ukraine, even if the war persists for years. He maintains that this is not a concern for America, as engaging in warfare aligns with their interests. The United States has sold billions of dollars worth of weapons, not only to Ukraine but also to other countries in the region, further destabilizing the area by stoking tensions between Ukraine and Russia. This arms trade, conducted in dollars, strengthens the demand for the currency and increases its value. Additionally, the United States has made the decision to provide Ukraine with long-range missiles capable of striking targets up to 300 kilometers away. Meanwhile, the British Prime Minister has expressed his view that Vladimir Putin's dreams are unrealistic and that the fall of NATO-affiliated countries will not come to pass. On a separate note, China has entered into a secret agreement with Cuba. The motive behind this agreement is China's intent to conduct espionage on America from Cuban soil, given Cuba's close proximity to the United States. China aims to obtain valuable U.S. military intelligence through this arrangement. It is widely known that socialist Cuba and capitalist United States have had a long history of conflict, leading to disruptions in global politics. Despite the United States' attempts to destabilize Cuba through threats of war, trade embargoes, and various tactics, Cuba has managed to maintain its position, following a unique policy of its own. Though there are no immediate military crises, a lingering Cold War persists between the two nations. With a mere distance of 150 kilometers between Cuba and the southern part of West Florida in America, their rivalry continues to manifest in political, social, and economic arenas. The United States attributes these ongoing conflicts to Cuba's geographical proximity. What are your thoughts on these developments? Feel free to share your comments below. We bid farewell for now, with hopes of seeing you in our future videos. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure to click the red button below and activate the notification bell icon. This way, 
You'll be among the first to receive our new videos as soon as they're released. Until next time, have a great day, everyone.